Well, hon, it's our last day on the President's Cruise. Yes, unfortunately, we have to go home. <laughs> we do. It's a, it's hopefully a relaxing, nice sea day. So come along and see what we did on that last day and all the other special events as we wrap up the 2023 President's Cruise. Welcome to Living Phase 2. Hi, I'm Mike. And I'm Nancy, and we're empty nesters striving to live life to the fullest. Our goal is to give you the best hints, tips, and tricks so you can live your best phase two empty nest life. That's right. So, so today, it's day seven of our President's Cruise. We've had a wonderful, wonderful time. We will, in our next video, actually do a complete wrap up and give all the summary and our thoughts and did we enjoy going on a President's Cruise. We'll do all that. But before we do that, let's talk about our last day on board because it is still a full day. It was a full day we, and we were busy. We all were. Long, we were. So, so how did we start the day? We started out by, by our usual going to the solarium <laughs> and having breakfast. That's yeah, it's hard to pass up. You get a nice little smoked salmon, some some capers and cream cheese and onions, and just oh, it's so good. It's, it's so delicious. good. Yeah, and, yeah. and it's light, and it's a uh, it's a nice way to start the day. And some fruit mm -hmm. yeah. and coffee. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. After that, we went to the walking jogging track. We walked four miles, mm -hmm. and it's really nice there. They had first off. Um, it is covered, so even if the weather happened to be bad or, or if the, the sun was beating down on you, at least you've got a little bit of shade. And I thought that was really nice. There also were signs that said, you know, to start here and how many laps you needed to walk to equal one mile or two miles. And so that was very helpful as well. Mm -hmm. And they had some fun little, um, oh, little inspirational quotes along the way or motivational quotes. You know, what, what is it the, the you, you walk? Don't, yeah. Don't give up. Your dessert might be guilt-free. Guilt yeah, you'll yeah, see walk, it here in the walk video. Walk around yeah. for three times and yeah. it's guilt-free. Yeah. There there were several of those as you walk the track going around. Yeah. This is a wonderful amenity on Oasis class ships with Royal mm -hmm. Caribbean. The fact that the jogging walking track is not on the top deck, not exposed to the sun, like it is on so many other, just kind of a normal ship design, tucking it away, um, deck five, I believe is where it was, mm -hmm. and tucking it away there, deck seven, you know, mm -hmm. and it, you're covered, it's, you still see the ocean out there. Mm -hmm. It's really, really nice. And it makes for a really enjoyable time walking around. And there are some little secrets there with the jogging track as well, that there's the little places that jut out, like between the lifeboats at the very back, where there are lounge chairs or just regular chairs. And it is a wonderful place to go and just yeah. relax and view the ocean. It's quiet. I mean, you might have your walkers behind yeah. you, but or joggers, but great place to go. It really is. Mm -hmm. And pro tip, friends, um, if you are on a cruise and you don't know how many laps you want, you want to walk a mile or two miles, and you don't know how many laps it is, go to the gym and ask uh, the the crew who are working in the gym because they will know mm -hmm. and they will tell you, you know, it's four times around to equal a mile or, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, we also had a nice little surprise. Uh, we, we, have, we put a short up about this so you can see it, but we, um, met one of the cast of Mamma Mia. Yeah. yeah, he was just, it was Jarrett, our uh, Crowthers, and he was just so fun. He was walking by us, we said hi, we recognized him, he played Pepper in Mamma Mia, mm -hmm. and he was just, he's just so nice. And we we saw him and, and enjoyed, uh, you know, saying hi, and, yeah. and it was a lot of fun. So he's, he said, put, put on my jacket and get a picture. <laughs> yeah, so he did a little short so, of that. Yeah. He's just, just a sweet young man. Yes, he was, re and real, really fun. Yeah. So, And that's the kind of service that we see a lot of times that you get um, on Royal Caribbean. And although we've seen this on, you know, other cruise lines, but it, it is just everyone is there to make sure you have the vacation of a lifetime. And, and he, you know, he might have been off duty, but he, but he took the time to, and in fact, he initiated. He was like, oh, you know and just had a great time with him yeah right, right. so after the walking we went and decided to try the gym out a little bit we tried out some of the equipment on the gym mm -hmm. and we weren't there a real long time but no. we did get a little bit of a workout in. yeah beautiful so gym good. here it's mm -hmm. uh, all kinds of equipment um, in very good condition um, and quite a few people in there using it I mean especially day seven I think you're trying to get back in that groove that's right especially with you it trying to walk that 590 <laughs> miles before your 59th birthday so I'm gonna do it friends yeah. I'm gonna you're do almost it there. yes yeah. I am uh, and then after that we just went to the main pool and decided you know what we're gonna relax we're gonna just take it easy and you know, Royal Caribbean all during this trip, and I've seen this on other ships as well, has been using the, we call them the no hair, ch uh, hair chair hog pink tags, you know, the pink covers. 
And you can see right here, this is 10 o'clock in the morning um, by the main pool, and we have no issue finding, and, and maybe we, we've been talking why this is. We haven't had trouble getting a chair all week, and yet the ship is full. And we're thinking it could somewhat be some of the mix. I mean, you have 600 pinnacles on board, you know, and some of them don't go to the pool every day. This isn't necessarily a normal cruise where this is where people go to hang out, but we never had a problem getting we didn't. a chance. Ever. No, we really didn't. So we stayed at the pool. We actually skipped lunch because we had dining reservations again for uh, 150. Yep. And so we knew we had a really good meal coming up yeah. <laughs> to, to eat. That's and right. But we did go a little early back, get cleaned up because there was the uh, big chef showdown on board. That was fun. <laughs> yeah. It was because it was, we, so, I mean, we like like Iron Chef. Yeah, I was going to say, if, if you've seen Iron chopped, Chef, yeah. um, that's really kind of what yeah. it was like that they had to make three different dishes mm -hmm. in 30 minutes yeah. and uh and, and they're they're they were penalized if they did different things and um, uh -huh. yeah like it was, which it, which i think alton brown is what cutthroat kitchen cut, or something that's the one I was so thinking yeah of. it's kind Thank of you. a bit cutthroat kitchen yes. like if they said the word yes if you asked them a question they said yes their time stopped they had to stop cooking while their time kept running for 30 know? seconds yeah. they had to so they it was kind of fun and and so, so the host would go up and say well you're you're gonna win aren't you and they yeah. go yes yeah <laughs> okay stop cooking yep uh so the two teams were one was john rivers he's he owns a whole chain of barbecue restaurants down in florida mm -hmm. very very good barbecue in fact he had several barbecue dinners that you could attend mm -hmm. on Allure during this week. And also the vice president of food and beverage. They, they also had partners that were doing cocktails. And so if anybody is in the cocktail scene or you know knows about mixologists, uh, one of the cocktails specialist was Tony Abu Ghanam. And uh, he is known as like the father of, of retro cocktails in the modern era i mean he's, he's been on the today show he's iron been chef on Food Network. So, yeah, yeah he's, he's been, on, been on all kinds of, of he's written multiple books on cocktails yeah. i mean this is the cocktail guy and he was going head to head against uh ed eisworth who's the head of uh, the director of beverage for royal caribbean so they you had royal caribbean's beverage guy going head to head with like probably one of the best mixologists in the world and it was just a lot of fun it, it really was, was it was oh and we forgot to say the um john and the head of um, food and beverage for Royal Caribbean were going against the uh, lure of the chef, head chef, with his team, mm -hmm. and uh, and so that was who they were competing against. So guess, guess who won? <laughs> the allure. Allure. allure <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything they made looked good. They had the the judges were the the captain. Um, the uh, hotel director, and I think it was one of the Royal Caribbean executives was doing it. And the real fun thing is they had um, some kids come up and help, you know, help out, and and it was it was just really sweet. And that was that it was all for fun, and and we had a very good time. We did we had a very that, good time. That was that was okay. yeah. It was actually held in the uh, Studio B, which is the ice skating rink. That's such a multi-purpose facility mm -hmm. on Oasis class ships. And uh, so after that, um, we were kind of ready for for dinner, and we went. Down down and uh, had a little little uh, uh, pre-dinner uh, drink. We kind of waited, and then once it was our time, we listened to the piano bar, in fact, I think mm -hmm. for a little bit. And then we headed to 150 once again, uh, and it did not disappoint, disappoint no, again. Uh, in fact, we asked so for Kimberly, our good. same waitress, and she was wonderful, yes. wonderful, wonderful. And this time you went with? I went with uh, the Lamb Wellington. And, oh my gosh, it was so good. Perfectly done. Nice medium rare lamb. Uh, it just, yeah, I tried it. It was excellent. But this time I had to go for the lobster thermidor yeah. since uh, I went for the filet last time. Yeah. And it was, uh, it was very, very good. And we haven't mentioned that they do bring out rolls ahead of time. They bring out a really pretty dish of uh, Parker House rolls that are in the shape of a flower. Oh, and yeah, and have garlic and butter. thick you, sea salt you don't on them. and get yeah. additional butter with them because you don't need they're it. <laughs> soaked in butter. Yeah, yeah. oh, good. and for, we forgot to mention also that for um, an appetizer, you had the, the pumpkin, uh, pumpkin soup, soup pumpkin mm -hmm. bisque soup, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and the cheese platter. It was just very good. And then, of course, we had to have the fried cheesecake again for <laughs> And, and it was so funny because there was it's a... It's out of this world. It is. I, it I'm is. not kidding you. Uh, there was a family sitting next to us that had a couple girls and a, and a, a husband and wife. And, and they we heard them over them. They were just next to us and heard, heard them talk the way. They're like, oh, you know. And he kind of recommended. He goes, well, you want to try the cheesecake? And they're like, oh, no, we don't anything that heavy. And they ordered uh, some other desserts. And we just leaned over and said, 
get the cheesecake. The cheesecake. <laughs> Do yes. not pass on the cheesecake. <laughs> and the waiter just looks at us, I'll bring you one. I'll, I'll throw it in the middle of the table. <laughs> and we glanced over as they were finishing up because they were, they were ahead of us by half hour eating or so. And that plate of cheesecake was gone like that. It was. <laughs> and it was they, so they looked over and said, oh my gosh, that was so good. <laughs> So after 150, we went uh, back to the promenade and we walked the promenade. They had a big balloon drop just to kind of celebrate the last day on the cruise. It was really, it was pretty. All oh the, yeah. All the yeah, everyone counted down. down and had a huge balloon drop and that was real nice. And and uh, then after that, we went to the last show of the, uh, of the cruise, which was called Blue Planet. And that was really neat because they took the performers from Mamma Mia, the aqua theater as well as the ice show and mm -hmm. they all came together yeah. in this performance mm -hmm. and so it was just it was fabulous yeah all kinds of different special mm -hmm. effects different types of dance different mm -hmm. and it, it was it, i thought it was very well done i i did i enjoyed it a lot um i will be honest i didn't know if i was going to exactly like it but i did i really did good. like it i thought it was very good um and then after that we talked okay do we we're on our last night it's 10 o'clock at night you know we finished mm -hmm. going to this show do we go and like try to push it and go dancing or do something this last night on the ship? And again, then maybe this is a pro tip, right? Um, once you've been on cruises a couple times, you really learn, listen, don't kill yourself. Right. You've got to enjoy the cruise um, and enjoy your time and not overdo it. So we decided to go back to our rooms and it's always the saddest day ever. It is. Here <laughs> we luggage tags, luggage are, tags there. are sitting there and and you know that's where we got to decide. However, we always self assist. So we we, we decided, you know what? We're going to take some time. It's not too late at night. We're going to tear our room down, get it to the point where we're ready to get off the ship in the morning uh, and that way it's less stressful in the morning. We yes. can kind of enjoy our morning a little bit more before we get off the ship. And so we did that. We packed and and uh, went ahead and, and went to bed and got ready for the, the sad day tomorrow, which is departure. <laughs> so, uh, so, so yeah, really great day, I think. You it was. I, it yeah. was a fun day. Yeah. And, you know, some people think sea days, you know, they, they can take them or leave them, right? Some people love them. Some people like the port days. I mean, we really enjoy our sea mm -hmm. days. We do. So, well, um, if you haven't yet, please reach down and hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything. It just simply lets YouTube know that uh, you'd like to see some of our videos in the future and hit the like button if you found this information helpful for Allure of the Seas. And uh, other than that, tomorrow we will go ahead and uh, show you our last day, show you how we departed, show you how we do that self-assist departure and uh, what we did in Galveston, which we went to a wonderful restaurant in Galveston yeah. after we got off uh, with our niece. And uh, that's a little, it actually was very good. We'll show you that tomorrow. So anything right. else? Huh? Nope. That sounds good. All right, friends, have a beautiful day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.